on, on that note, it seems that the Rebbe is taking the, the side of the underdog. I guess he always does. I mean, we're all yeah. we're to begin with the underdog. Elon has this, it was did a bit of No, no I, I, I meant year uh, Tata before uh, Avatata. Lukhere, the Parsha Shneeshal Krishna should have started, it should have been first. Yeah, but because the Seder in Yonim, yeah, yeah, we, we were talking about this, but the Seder in Yonim is it has to start with inspiration. It has to start with inspiration, each one on their level, and it's a constant process. You can't come with the Kabbalah soil and break yourself. First, you've got to be connected, it's got to engage you. And then the higher level, and starting with even get a tattoo, get a lot, whatever it is. But the beginning, I mean, it's everything. I've been legal, it's not exactly the same model, but it takes a loyal Lishma, but Lishma, what's Shalai Lishma? Shalai Lishma is the satisfaction and the Gishmak at the very high level. It's a very high level of Shalai Lishma. That's how it has to begin. In so why life. don't you say why don't you say Shlomo Shmo is the guy's first afraid of, of sinning? That's the way the, that's the way the seder usually goes. Of what? The guy first the, the first thing is fear. Speak to a guy who's not uh, not. I'm, I'm saying no. It's not the first thing to to. Attract. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. It's not the first thing. I hear you. First question is what? What do I gain? What, what is the? What's the? What is? What's this? in there for me? It has to be this way. That's Hashem made us, and that's the and that's the He wants our hearts. And he wants our minds. Let me let me uh, add an important point that after the Avodah Bahayim Shemoy and Amalek, then the Avodah Parshat is shown is in a whole new level. It's not like forget that. And moving on now to Kabbalah's Earl, and then the goodbye Seichel, goodbye Midas, goodbye Ava. The next day we say Shema Yisrael again. In fact, that night we say Shema Yisrael again. So the avoda, the love, and the 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 gishmak, the tainug rots and tainug ava, all of engaging the self continues an ever deeper, deeper level. Dafka because it's based on vayim So it's an endless cycle. So like levels move on, gaman. It's an endless cycle, and of course, goes without saying that there's plenty of of uh, setbacks. That's the nature of it. <laughs> We're not on a Clear sailing. We try this, we fall back, and then it's it's a it's a constant struggle in all of it. But overall, overall, the general pattern is the first thing is the gishmak, the first thing is enjoy it. Tom, what did the Alter Rebbe say? The Alter Rebbe, the Rebbe told this story, Borim Tov Shanghai. Many of you probably heard it. I'm just gonna set the, you know, hang on a second here, just the. So, you know, Purim Tov Shanghai, the famous Fabrengen, the Rebbe took that Mashke, so there was, there was in Yonim there that don't happen normally. And that is, that's, it's not that the Rebbe would never normally imitate, it, to quote, unquote, the Alta Rebbe is nicking the way he spoke. The Fikir Rebbe would do that. that was, the Fikir Rebbe was, the Rebbe would not. It's just not his. Well, well no, but he said, it, it, um, uh? no, the boss is a, but no, uh, about an aleph, about an aleph, the Rebbe also uh, quoted that the, the Alter Rebbe so, Nigan. I'm talking another story now. What do you mean by imitating? Say the same, the Alter Rebbe to speak with the Nigan. Oh, the way he spoke, he yeah. like, okay. So it's not the Rebbe's style to, when he would quote what the Rebbe mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. to say the tone. The Fidig Rebbe, yes, that was his, the Fidig Rebbe was the Das Tacht, in the way we saw, Molly Srakshus and emotion and then, and the Rebbe was not the way he's at music, just not very at music, not cold, but at music. But I can't point him, but put him to Shanghai, they took a mashke, and he did on two occasions there, told two stories of the Alter Rebbe, and said it in the Nigan of the Alter Rebbe. Now, one of them was he told the story of the Alter Rebbe, the big Vikuach, in the, I think it was in Shklo, in Minsk, with the Misnagdim. The Alter Rebbe got up on the beam and said, and Rebbe said, "Lenig tam uriu kitoy vavaye, vazuch vetizen as the Rebish there is good. Taste and see that godliness is good." Rebbe continued as him and not Rebbe spoke. It's after that mashke, but you see the way he was saying it, like this is the avoid that demanded of us. 
and says, No, you love and send the key in the light. Tens of the creme de la creme of the misnagdim ran after the altar back to the ocean. Then, uh, how did it begin? You didn't get up to give a patch to the bim and say, Iskafia, break yourselves. You're all a bunch of bali I mean, uh, take me. No, Stamboro, Kitaiva, Vaya. Oh, open up the light, open up the light. That's how it started. And then, then comes the Avrid of Kabbalah soil. It's a whole different Kabbalah soil. And that feeds the, 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 the Gishmak, elevates the Gishmak and the Ava to more and more you. I love you. Less I, more you, stronger and stronger. And just my father in law also, just by the way, told the story many times that he was and became a Lubavitcher. So they asked him how. So he told me that one of the things was, I think the first thing, was if I bring him in a Peretz Machkin, the same with a Peretz, he told the story, the winemaker of Westbury. And this is on Park Avenue. And he was searching. He was, was he went to searching. He went to Bells. He went to Visioners. All very nice, but didn't. It was by Fabrengen, Shabbos afternoon, and Park Avenue. And the Peretz is, is, is saying like this from the Altrebbe. The Ebishter says, Ani Avaya Loichi Lisi, Vatim Ben Ani Avaya Loichi Lisi, Shon Lisi, Vatim Ben Yisro Loichi Lisi, Poshib Shat. I am God, I have not changed, and you, I'm around, I'm here, and you, Eden, have not been consumed, you're also here. You took, it's made it, you give Poshib Shat, you turn to the Yabashem, and the Jewish people, I'm Yisro Chai. Now, the Rebbe teaches that it's a, it's a call, Hashem is calling out, Ani Avaya Loichi Lisi, the, the, the truth of all the of Atom Bnei Salach, listen, where is your Kalisa Nefesh? Where's your longing? Where's your longing? So this completely blue longing, such language, longing for God, the heart is inspired. You heard of reward, Ganeidun, Elam Habba, Musr, all kinds of things, but longing? The truth is, Tilim is full of it, but that's what it says in Tilim. Tillin. And the way I guess that Peretz was Masbid opened up a whole new world. So here too, what 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 drew him? He didn't come to the Fabregan and uh, break break yourself. What drew him was a whole world of lo love and longing. The heart aches. Every Jewish heart aches to love God, to love Hashem. We don't know how, we don't know where, who. Like Martin Sweden put it very well many years ago. Actually, I didn't hear it from him, but from someone else. Every Jew is like someone running around with an appointment somewhere. He just no, don't know <laughs> whom and where. I guess you gotta be there somewhere, but I don't know what. I don't know exactly. You don't know. So show me. I might be a little late. Yeah, but for what? I don't know. Running. That's it. Running around, I've got to get there, but where? So well, what's the running around? This is this is the Gaguyu. This is the Ava I want a relationship with God. I want a relationship with God. And that's our job, Chassidus, to, to channel the heart. This is the Zion rumors, the seven nations, these feelings that are just agitating and wanting and loving. It's never enough. It never satisfies. It then leaves us empty and, and broken. Yeah. To channel it into yeah. Avas Hashem and Yiddish Hashem. And that's how that's the beginning. Then comes the Avloyed. That's when Amalek kicks in, Bernice. Amalek doesn't even start before. If you're not a Chassid, really. So you're okay. No problem with you. The whole Amalek only starts when there's Abbas Hashem and Yer Hashem. Something is stirring, there's some movement. That's when Amalek starts. Vahim Mishamay, the second parasha, which you're learning. Just occurs to me. When did Amalek attack? Only after even that Mitzrayim, the biggest Eidus. Till then, where were you? He was around. He had nothing to attack, but nothing going on. Slaves in Mitzrayim, stay there. Getting excited. But well, then the you see, as Mitzrayim is starting to touch a little bit, the Edelkite, Ruchni is starting to grow. Oh, so, no, 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 no. Not going to let this go any further. Full on frontal attack, get burnt, doesn't matter. Stopping this in its tracks. So, Dafki starts after the avoid of when the heart is moved and there's a side of That's what the mother calls up. If I'm cold, he's fine. That's his, his, his victory is there without a battle. All right, so let's go invite them. Where we have to friends, which which okay. which ice? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the base. The base. The base. The base what? The base. the base. I was telling Adam the other day. This mime again, if you had to choose the mime, it's so you say this thing because the basic avoidance it gives us such uh, material to think about in Davening, both in Shema and in Psuka de Zimra, the, the whole Dachonda, they just those last that last part before Yishtabach. We should find a way, you know, that we should learn it. And we should, uh, everybody should learn it by heart, each one they level, not the word, word for it, but the teich and that's what I We need a motivation. I don't give out prizes to everybody that learns it by heart. I don't know what. This is the prize. It definitely is the prize. But you're not eating so hard as this way. Next, next, next. A pity, pity to let it go. Yeah. Like a motto just said, Purim the never ends. Remember, it's Purim never ends. All the other time, even Purim is. And we have to hear the mime inside, friends. We have to find the time we've played here to hear the Rebbe say the mime, especially the Avreda part. Everything that's scholar, the Avreda. Okay, so we'll, we'll give thought to that, how to do this. So you said, what are you Gimel? Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? I I, I uh, forgot to put the microphone here. You're able to hear, guys. Hope it picks it up on the tape. Please use the huh? guys on the. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was just fine. Just fine. Yeah. Okay. So I used to the gimbal. Yes. Did you, you finish? I used base. No, 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 no. No, no, I said base, you said. What did you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said base. So he's finished saying that he, he mapped out here, uh, identified different levels of Amalek's Melchama. And the, the more grub it is, the more, the more raw it is, the easier it is to deal with. So when Amalek comes along, outright rebellion, out, no, I refuse, I'm not doing it. So you know who you're dealing with, and Kabbalah's oil, and with, with conviction, one can easily defeat Amalek. Mm -hmm quote-unquote, easily. I mean, easily because it's clear. You know what you have to do. There's this stubborn resistance that says, I, I don't want. You break yourself. You get up. You come. You do. Okay. That's one. That's one clipper. That's, and then there's a more edel clipper. It doesn't say don't. It just says don't be excited. Cold. That's a much more edel, a much more edel, a and then if the third Melchama is, there was a beautiful Arichas here that there is the coldness of Kedusha, that's Bittl, that's Chochmah, that, as we said, explained yesterday. But we're not talking that. We're talking a coldness in the Rebbe's words here, where the Avoide becomes old. It's not exciting anymore. Same old, same old. And it's a yoke. So that's the second level. And that's more difficult to deal with. You just say don't. You just uh, groans under the yoke of it. And then there's a higher or more edela avida where he says, he sees that's not going to work either. This guy's fired up. He's inspired. And uh, he just can't call the other. He's passionate about Yiddishkeit. Some people are by nature that way. You know, they're passionate people. So if they're going to be dedicated Yiddishkeit, that's what it's going to be, and that's it. It's by nature. Others not so much by nature. He, his passion was developed by his appreciation. But he's excited. So what's Amalek going to do now? He's excited. He's not going to call him. So he has another weapon. Yeshes. He's the big chassid. He's impressed with himself. In the words of the Pesach, the man shmi yechabed Hashem. God's being glorified thanks to me. Kiddush Hashem. Mekad Hashem Shemai. Okay, so this is even more re uh, refined and subtle avoid it. takes even a longer time. I, just to say on, on this um, on this thing, that this Yesh's business, this Yesh's business, the, the best answer for that is, I mean, this, I'm not quite up for me from the best eight is no time. There's no time for us, time for this uh, looking in the mirror and being impressed with yourself. There's work to be done. 
That's the best date. They see Meshakel, the famous Maimer, touching her base. They have cried in the Maimer a lot. There's no time. No time to, uh, to, to, to look in the mirror, how am I fearing, and take, be impressed, and take a tally. But Nish can say it. This demands me, the wife, the children, you have time to think about your madrigas, how you're doing. That's the best aid, sir. Okay, Vizel, you'd base. Where did you think coming now, friends? Vizel, Marsha, Dafka, by Mambolik. People have a Mambolik name. So, Dafka, by Mambolik, we are commanded to remember, Leitishkach, don't forget. Dafka, by Mambolik, we have to remember. What is this? Gedenk, remember. So, he explains. The Hine, Inyan, Aski, Aschiro. When the, the notion of remembering Neufel applies, Something that you once knew and understood. And and then it's possible that you don't remember it. It's there. You forget. There's two stages. You're not remembering it means it's not front and center. But it's there, filed away. And then it's shikha. You forget. You just, it's, it's forgotten, which means it's a huge effort to try and find it again in your memory and be mind about, be able to, it's, as he goes to say, where did it go? It didn't fly out of your head. It just sunk to deep recesses of the mind, which is going to explain them. How is this possible? Gashmis, you understood something. So your brain entertained this. It's filed there. In Kelehechan, where did it go? What does forgetfulness come? It doesn't fly out of your head. As we all know, under, under hypnosis, etc., you can summon forth memories that uh, <clears throat> previous lifetimes, they have a mind of a lifetime. <laughs> That which you understood and grasped, he's talking about understanding. Our case over here is understanding the course. Where did it go? It went and returned to its source in the Kecha Maskil. Kecha Maskil is the capacity to understand. That's a, that's that's the that's the source of of the of of the intellectual process in the nefesh. That's where it went. Now it's deep, like Lahavlan, not Lahavlan, computers. When you hit the erase button. If only you erased it from on the surface, the FBI, whenever the CIA, like it, it's there, Absolutely. it's there, it just receives the more subtle, 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 subtle place. So most of the the conscious level, you forgot that it doesn't go out somewhere; it just receives, shrinks back to the source in the seichel that could that understood this to begin with. That's where it's gone. That's why it's easier to remember something which you knew once before. Because you once revealed it from the Kecha Maskil. So it's easier to retrieve it. I just, I'm not the Lashon, I don't understand, frankly. He says, I'm missing something. It's easier to remember something you knew once. Can you remember something you never knew? Yes, you are asking the same question. Look at the racist. To bring to consciousness, maybe, like to think about something. Uh, okay, all so, information is easier than getting. It's not easier. It's not possible. Right. Otherwise, when it's easier. And I think that's the point of calling out one of us something you truly understood it from the presence of the You're not saying that. It doesn't say it's easy to understand something you knew once. And you've forgotten, now you think it again. You think, hey, that's what he means. He says, Lizoche, he doesn't say, Lizoche, he doesn't say, Lizoche, he doesn't say, to remember something. Maybe he means that, to understand, whatever. Look. At any rate, she will keep it, she can't his gals of an image, she can't have a mask, since he wants already, it was, this idea was revealed and drawn out consciously from the faculty to understand, can't have a mask, Kecha Maskil is the source of Chachma. It's the faculty in the Neshama, right, the deepest Kech of the Neshama. Not the deepest, the Rotz and Tainik is deeper, but that, that what? That a person can perceive truth. 
it's a, it's a deep end, objectively, he can discover what is outside of himself. That's the nature of Seichel. The nature of Seichel is to discover what's outside of the of consciousness. It's a very deep, the, the deepest koyach in Seichel. So it's easier to what he's saying, if once you entertain the idea, then to retrieve it. Aval Afa became still Yochali is my Matzav shall head as he called it. You could not remember. To the point that you've just forgotten, it's erased from consciousness. However, again, it's only erased from the external screen of your mind. It recedes to deeper and deeper places on the, in the nefesh. We're only talking here about forgetfulness only applies to the manifestations of the soul, consciousness. Where can forgetfulness happen? Where from the Koyach HaMaskil an idea has been articulated and, and grasped? That can be forgotten. That can be a change. You remember it, you don't remember it. In the same way that there is a shinli being in the godless and in the katnas. He means that the person himself, there are times where just, you know, the mind is open and the mind is small. Sometimes just the mind is firing, making the God is open to understand, and sometimes he just doesn't go in. But the mind of the Shoshina, then they're sleeping. He is, he's there, the mind is there, but completely in a sleep-like state means confused, not orderly, it's not Masei the Mesuda. That's all what? The manifested the manifested uh, 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 faculties of Seichel. Av mitzad etzema nefesh, but the etzema nefesh, the essence, and not just the essence, for sure the essence is always b'shleimos, that goes without saying. But I feel the mitzad keicha maskil, the faculty to be, this is potential, keicha maskil is the potential to understand. That cannot change. It's not conscious, front and center, but it remains forever. So, and this is what rem remembering means, recall. So the ability to recall, to summon it forth, therefore, you've forgotten. Now you're remembering. So this is higher than the manifested intellect. This is drawing on the source. Recall, remembering. This comes from the Kehamaskal itself. He draws on that, is able to summon forth the idea that it receded there. We're following? The koyach has a card and is a deep koyach. It's all to explain, remember what Amalek did. This is where we're going with this. To remember means the idea was manifested, receded now the koyach maskil. Now we've got to go to the koyach maskil, to the very source itself, and summon it again. Okay, we'll continue more pratim in this tomorrow. Today's story. Every day. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. The trick about <laughs> the trick. Keep it in front. Yeah, after learning something, when it's the, the, the most critical time is immediately. You learn something now this morning. To think it over today, what we learned. It's still fresh. It actually brings it to the higher source. If you work hard, yeah. No, I'm saying it's actually forgetting about it. Takes you to the Kaycha Maskil, yeah. But uh seems like we're trying this time. I'll you don't wanna so I'm just saying, practically speaking, anything to remember anything is after the event to rethink it or and certainly to share it with somebody else verbally, that's the best way, then it's gonna remain in in your memory consciously uh much stronger, more indelibly then it happened that just that gets filed in memory it just keeps on slipping back it slips back and back and back and is not easy to summon it's a big avoid okay